Hello, I'm Entrelysium and Point23 KSP is coming your way soon, so let's look at Point23 update for Kerbal Space Program in 2.3 minutes. Now, one of the first things that's been changed is the way that science repeats work. In the last edition, you could basically spam science transmissions to be able to get the full amount of science. Now, science is worked slightly differently. As you can see here with the bars, we've got the recovery bar and we've got the transmission bar. And you can see that there's a sort of a slight extension to the end of both bars, which is a slightly paler colour. That is the amount that you could get fully with multiple transmissions or recoveries, whereas the bright bit is what you will get if you, you know, recover it once or you transmit it once. But also, a lot of the things are now one-shot use, so you could use the goo canister and that's it, you can't use it again. However, there is a new part, the lab. Now, the lab needs two kerbals to run, it takes electric charge when it's doing its thing, but it allows you to up transmission rates. Basically, instead of having to transmit the science back, you're actually able to do a couple of the experiments on site. So you can see here, we've got plus 22% science, and the lab will do the work once you click this, that button, count up and add that amount of science so you can transmit more. The lab also allows you to reset certain experiments, so you can reuse that goo canister. In addition, there is now the archives attached to the science area. You can look at what you've managed to collect, what you haven't collected, and sort of plan your missions from there. There's also a number of UI changes you can see here. It displays the data a lot nicer. There's also a lot of tweakables. This is a new thing that they're doing, which you can like adjust the amounts of fuel in parts. You can have gears up or down on takeoff. You can also turn on and off steering and braking. Steering on plane landing gears is now a thing, by the way. It's absolutely brilliant. And these tweakables are really incredibly useful. And big one, there is a new engine. This engine is basically, if anyone's played the B9 aerospace mod, it's the Sabre engine, or if anyone knows the Sabre engine in real life, it's an air breathing engine that can be flipped over to work in closed cycle and doesn't need to breathe air. So it will use just the liquid fuel and then until it gets too high and has no intake air, or not enough intake air, it will flip over and automatically start using oxidized with the liquid fuel, which is perfect for space planes. In addition to all of this, there has been biomes added to Minimus, where originally they were only available on Kerbin and the Moon, and there are numerous performance improvements. So textures are now handled differently, allowing you to have less memory taken up by textures, which allows you to install more mods if you want to, and parts of less overhead so they take up less processing, meaning large part craft won't lag as much. That's my round upon point 23. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. As ever, stay shine, everybody. <laughs>